All right, guys, we got Alex's truck here. Another one of Alex's truck. Actually, the 6.4 that was here a little while ago that, uh, oh, we ran down to the turbos. Actually, went down to the, the turbos. Uh, he's got he's got a bunch of trucks, but look at this. Uh, he put a gallon of def at the uh, fuel stop and realized it and shut the truck off. Now, I haven't really poured this out and looked at it real quick, but I figured I'd shoot a quick video. That could be water. If that is, I mean, that's nasty. That's out of the fuel filter. That's that's draining the filter, the primary filter. So, yeah. So what we're doing right now is we're gonna drop the free tank. We're not messing around. I mean, not not no seventeen six seven. <clears throat> we don't really need a ten thousand dollar bill when he can spend. I mean, he's gonna spend a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. We're not doing it for free, but uh, take it apart and we're going to take samples through the lines at the disconnects and make sure that it's all clean and then we're going to bleed the filter and take the return line off and let it flow out but it's a whole bunch of crap but we're going to clean it all out and honestly you do this here look i'll show you you do this like that let's hope for the best all right so uh crap oh we got a busted cat boot too it's like uh i mean there's almost a point to where a family needs to be out in the middle of the desert on ford's and you know i'm a ford guy right i'm a ford guy but ford's design in the six seven of this entire cac charge air cooler plumbing uh they they've tried a different thing and obviously it don't freaking work either so uh, i mean aftermarket sure is sounding like uh you know let's put some crap on that kind of fits <laughs> i mean just because it's turning it's a freaking epidemic i mean look at it it blew out all over the damn place it's been leaking bad so we'll try to clean it all up a little bit and tanks drop the tank uh hope dev tank uh i mean I, I don't think he said anything about putting diesel or anything i think it was just def in the fuel so we're gonna go with that and drop the tank out and actually throw you know i mean we'll just clean it physically clean it out i mean we'll shot we'll empty it i don't want to pump it out i don't want to i mean a lot of people would say that uh they pump their tank out if it's old well if it's old fuel i'll, I'll use the fuel pump right but uh, normally like if this was a truck that got pumped uh, unleaded in it i would use the fuel pump to pump it out this is def i don't want to take a chance of the crystallizes nasty freaking def crap fuel lines letting off chunks of crystals for the rest of the life of the truck yeah no we're not doing that so we're going to take it all apart and get it right now because i think it just happened today or yesterday uh it was yesterday we couldn't get to it in time i'm sorry we we actually cleaned the shop up but whatever uh cleaned everything so, yeah, I just thought I'd show it. I mean, uh, that filter looks bad. That's pretty freaking nasty. That That's just another justification even without it because that looks like it could be nasty water. I mean, well, I don't know. I mean, I don't do a lot of messing with def, the actual uh, pouring def in a truck. I don't do much of that, uh, but whatever. All right, guys, Alex's truck, have a good day.